everyone, my name is Crystal and I'm an independent Sensi consultant. So today's video is going to be my thoughts on the new catalog. So the new uh, fall winter catalog for 2021 is releasing August 1st, which is very soon. So I thought I would kind of just go through the catalog, give you my thoughts, my opinions, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So there's the catalog. Sorry, I know it's backwards. Anyways, so family photo very nice okay, so here's the first warmer I see that's new very cute I really like it if you're into that um, you know that kind of decor if you're I feel like if you're you have little rooms very white very clean I feel like this would really look nice with some touch the blue in it would really kind of make it pop very nice and it's uh, $66 and this is the uh, charitable cause product. So it says here, they're gonna donate $13 Canadian from the sale of each of the Hope Blooms Warmer to the Sensi Family Foundation. Okay, so that's the warmer. So it's $66 Canadian and 13 of it will go to the, what is it? The Sensi Family Foundation. All right, so next it talks about the Whiff Box, which I love. It's the uh, subscription box that they come out with every month. You can get like an actual subscription where it's automatically sent to you. You can just order it if you want in the first of the month. But just beware that um, the later your box or the later you order, you may not get what you see in everyone's videos from the beginning of the month. Because if they run out of items, they're going to replace it with something. But it's $40 Canadian plus, plus taxes and shipping, but it's always worth more. Um... Yeah, so what I like to do sometimes is with my Sensi Club, once your um, monthly total or whatever is beyond, I think it's $80 Canadian, you get a free item at 50% off. So I usually choose the Whiff box and I get it at $20 Canadian instead of $40. So it's even a better deal at that point. Next, it talks about the Sensi Club, um, which is basically a subscription service where you can get access to bars that are no longer... Um, available so like the bring back my bar was just here in june and we're starting voting we've started voting for the the bring back my bar that's coming up in the fall area fall time sorry and so let's say you know out of the 25 bring back my bars that came back in june you fall in love with a couple of them you can start a sensi club and you can get those bars for as long as you want so you can keep them and get them every couple of months every month however you choose and they'll keep making them as long as it's in your club. So I've got a club. I've got quite a few bars. I um, I do the I do show my subscription uh, whenever I get it. It's every three months. So I did one back in June, and you can see what I got there. But um, I had already seen a video of what the June whiff box was that month. So I ended up um, instead of getting the whiff box, I wanted a brick of the sun kiss citrus. So that's what I did. I got that one for half off. So anyway, so here is. Just information on the Sensi Club. Uh, like it says here, uh, orders of $40 or more get 10% off. And order to, orders of $79 Canadian or more get 10% off. And another Sensi Club product, including the box at half price. At a Sensi Brick, oh yeah, they have a section where they have uh, Sensi Bricks available. Um, but you have to have a Sensi Club in order to get access to it. I wish they would kind of switch out those scents. But, you know, it would be nice if we got access to new ones. Ooh. Okay, so here in the first two pages, we get a look at two new warmers and a new bar. So let's start with the warmers. Very, very cute. I see the gold at the bottom. I kind of like that. And I like how this one, like they look really nice together. This one's got the spattering of gold in it. So it has the gold at the bottom and I like the ombre. Is it ombre when it goes down and up or is it just down, up, down? Is it both? I don't know. But you know what I mean? It goes from dark to light. I really like that look. And this here, I feel like if you like vintage -y looking things, if you're into those, I feel like it, it's not, you know, it kind of looks antique -y, vintage -y with the uh, with the bit of um, whatever, if it's gold or supposed to be like, um, is it patina, whatever they call it. But anyways, I feel like they're really, really cute. Let's just see how much they are. Ah, yes, it says handmade grooves in this warmer here uh, creates an ombre effect that's more pronounced when lit. Nice. So... The one with the ombre is called Palette, and it's $73 Canadian, and the other one's called Mirrored Rosé, and it's also $73 Canadian. 
very cute. Now this bar is called Cashmere and Corduroy, but there's no scent description here. So we'll get to that, but it's really cute pink wax. All right, so here's some. There's two new warmers. So the first one here, what does it say? Amazing Grace. Um, there's a dove shaped pattern in back. It casts a silhouette on nearby surfaces. Nice. And it's $53 Canadian. I feel like um, Sensi always, always has some kind of like a religious warmer of some sort. And I feel like this is perfect with that theme. So Amazing Grace. And like I said, 53 Canadian. This one here, it says Love Lives Here. I love that saying. And I really like the color of this one. 66 Canadian. I really like, I hope, I don't know if that's mirrored. Like are the leaves uh, like a mirrored or is it like see-through? I think maybe see-through. It's very cute. I really like that. I like I like it when they have the positive messages on the warmers. All right, so here's a page, and none of these are new. It seems like so we've got the trust in him. There's another religious one. Uh, Do what makes you happy. A mini warmer. I like that. The mini warmers are twenty six. God is great. Fifty nine dollars Canadian. Uh, Believe in your dreams. Twenty six. Love your journey. Forty six. Very on point. Dream uh, with the whole, you know, positivity theme. Dream it, live it, love it. Every moment matters and choose happy. So you got quite a few options for the mini warmers, but also like the uh, regular size warmers. If, you, if you're into those like positive messages, something that when you walk by it every day and you can see that it's kind of, you know, like a little mantra that you repeat to yourself. Mantra, mantra, mantra. Ooh, okay. So this one called my first makes me think peacock it says flaunt your feathers and it's 73 Canadian. Very pretty. This one here makes me think palm trees and beaches. And I like it's called oh jungle canopy and it's 59. And if you look closely, I believe that's going to be like etched. So like you'll be able to feel that on the uh, surface. We got this beautiful, brightly colored floral looking one uh, dancing petals 73 as well. And then a new mini warmer. Uh, Sage Advice, and it's 26. Really cute. It's got the... I like that. Aha! Uh -huh. Not surprised that this one made the catalog. It was the, the warmer of the month for this past May. The Succulent Warmer. 73 Canadian. You can arrange the succulents as you like. And there's the dish for the wax. Really, really cute. We've got the aloe vera one. I know plants are really popular. So there's the aloe vera one. And this one here, which is the Little Garden. Uh, the Aloe Vera is 59, Little Garden is 53. Very cute. If you're into like plants and all that, and especially if you're someone that has a hard time keeping them alive, not, you know, you're not doing it on purpose or anything. <clears throat> Myself. I, I have some that are still going strong and then others I just, for some reason, I just have the worst luck. But I know it's something I'm doing. I feel like I either overwater it or underwater them. There's the, that one's really pretty. Midnight. Floor. So sorry for shaking you. Then we got Wings and Lavender Love. That was new to the spring summer catalog, I believe. Really cute. And it's got, um, it's molded with real lavender springs and then finished with a crackle glaze that makes each one unique. Now, when I look at this, I see purple, but from what I've seen, it looks, it's, it's darker. Like if you get it in person. Sorry, I found a hair. <laughs> Much darker in person, apparently. You can go Google Pictures online and you can see. Uh, here's uh, one new one. One is not. Um, okay, so the feathered one. That one is Fabulous Feathers at 66. And the new one is Crimson for 73. Reminds me of that, that black and gray and white one there. The swirled one that came out. Was it for spring, summer? And then they've got, um, um, what's it called? It's a cord concealing warmer stand. Very cute. If you like that swirl patterns, those are very popular right now. That's really cute. And then the feather one is also cute. If you like pink, especially. Um, yeah. I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. This one here was a warmer of the month for, I believe, was it January this past year, the year before. They brought back the pink one for 79. Happy Henna, Opulence, they're both 66, as well as Amber Glow. This one's really cute. Angel Wings for 46 and then Dreamcatcher for 53 This one here, like you can feel the engraving. It's really nice. I saw uh, one of my customers order it. Beautiful. Um, this one's cute and I've noticed um, 
well, you'll see on this page here, they had to take the stand one for $59, and they had the little feet, right? So now they're starting some more with the little feet, which I think is really cute. So this one here, they've got a, a matching set, basically the mini warmer with the full-size warmer. Mini warmers are 26 obviously. The Salerno is 53 Very cute. And this was the warmer of the month, I think last year, June, July, something like that. Really, really popular. And I remember it was on back order. So it's in the catalog, of course. And it's 66 Canadian. Now on this page here, light from within. There's the full size and the mini. In the clouds. That's an old, like we've had this in the catalog before. Dancing dots. Diamond milk glass. I have this one. Uh, right there. And... Paloma, 26, and then, oh yeah, Spot On, and then the Plant Stand one. So these ones are fine. Um, these ones though are cute. If you're more into the beachy vibes, because the, the catalog does release August 1st, so there's still plenty of time for the beach, especially depending on where you live. Um, these ones are all like, I feel like, very beachy, so they're really cute. If your decor is all beachy, that kind of thing. This one's called Along the Seafloor. It's so pretty with the... Uh, the way the color lightens up and it's 66 ocean life the mini warmer 26 and this one here is also 26 it says i love you to the beach and back everyone always says i love you to the moon and back i love you to the beach and back that's really cute this one's been in the catalog before so is this one as well as that one we've seen these before this one when it lights up it shows like this very cute marrakesh right i think it's the marrakesh yeah 66 66 66 and then this one here is 79 that one is carolina coast so very cute very beachy i find the they're warmers they have a lot of uh, options especially depending on your decor you get some nice selection all right so we still have two more pages of warmers now this one i'm not shocked about this one was a warmer of the month and it was super popular so of course they're going to have them in the catalog that's the glimmer and glow for 86 and then we've got the Glisten, which is also on little feet. So that's cute. And I really like, they're really into the whole, the, the gradient effect, eh? That one, Glisten, is 53. It's, it looks like it would be, like, rough feeling, like little bits of, you know, I don't know if it's glass or ceramic, whatever it is there. But you'd feel it. would be rough on the touch. Same with these ones. Um, Twinkle, 66. We got the mini one, which is the Glitter Silver. We got Crushed Diamond, very pretty, 66. Yeah, none of these are new, but we got the Glitter Rose Gold, the Acute Copper for 73, and the Ooh La La at 26. And then these ones here, which is Time to Reflect, Perfect Pearl, and Charred. Now that's really pretty. I really like how it, the darkness goes. But I find that the pictures in the catalog don't always do the warmers justice. So I find what I like to do is I'll go to YouTube and I'll try to look up... Um, videos where people will show it lit up and they'll say okay this is what it looks like not lit up and then this is what it looks like lit up so um that way you kind of get a better idea because i find the pictures you're looking at and you're like oh that's really nice and then you see like a an actual picture that someone took of one in their home and you're like whoa that's even prettier than i thought like it's just i find it a huge difference um this was a warmer of the month this one's new and we've had this one before. So God, uh, or no, Bless This Home is 66. Sweet Love is 53. It's got that like tin kind of look. And then this one is Shining Light for 79. Very cute. And it's got one of those, um, what's it called? Edison bulbs. One of those old-fashioned looking bulbs. The warmers on here, I've been in previous catalogs. We've got the Home at Last. Which is weird because it says home sweet home, but it's called home at last. And I always call them by whatever it says on it. Raised on country sunshine, 66. Well, it looks like a watering can. The Live Simply has been around forever. I still think it's really cute, especially if you, you this is good for like the farmhouse decor. It's very popular right now. We got the little church. My son was like, can I have the little church mom for my room? Super cute. Uh, country living, another like tin. We got the wildlife one and home. Really cute. Okay, now, new releases, and then the holiday scents. So, I did not order, like, the set of the new releases. Um, I'm just going to wait till they're 
released August 1st and then I'm going to order the ones that I want to, although I did get a few testers. So I'll touch on that. The first one, uh, Blue Sage and Tonka. Revel in the richness of Midnight Sage and Black Lavender over sultry sweetness of Tonka Bean. Um, I feel like that's going to be more like a woodsy kind of scent. I don't know if it's quite up my alley, but what I do want to mention is I feel like there's more in this catalog, like more bakery options than there were in the spring, summer, but I get it. Maybe bakery is more fall, winter kind of a scent, but we got cashmere and corduroy, which we saw at the beginning. It says, wrap yourself up in the coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. I feel like it's going to be like um, one of those cozy scents. Cinnamon buttercream sounds right up my alley. Italian buttercream and creamy marscapone scooped over cinnamon cake combined sugar, spice, and everything nice. So I ended up getting the tester in cinnamon buttercream. So let's give it a quick sniff. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, right up my alley. Now, I don't smell like marscapone, you know what I mean? But I smell cinnamon. I smell like a cakey smell. And I smell some spice, sweetness. This just smells like it would be really good to eat. And that one is cinnamon buttercream. Really excited about that one. Next here is eucalyptus wreath. Fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and adorned with frosted mint. I don't tend to like scents with juniper in it, I found. But, like, eucalyptus, I feel like it's more of a, you know, clean my sinuses kind of scent. Um, for me, anyways. But we'll see. The next one I'm excited about is called Graham Cracker Crunch. Caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla beans. So I got the tester. And, oh my god, this is so Mmm, if you like bakery, if you like dessert, you're going to like this one. I feel like I can smell the graham cracker. I smell slight sweet peanut butter. The vanilla just, mm, I can't wait to get some bars of this. I feel like I want to do like a six pack of each because I'm going to, I, I just know I'm going to love them. Now, next one, Harvest Blessings. This sounds really good too because uh, I really like my fall scents. So, Radiant Apple, Spiced Pumpkin, and Smooth Oak embody everything you love about autumn. Sounds nice. Maybe I should have got the... Now, like, you know, now I'm looking through, I'm like, mm, maybe I should have got that one too. Pomegranate Prosecco, delectable rosé berry and pomegranate and an, add an effervescent splash to a flute of pink Prosecco. Um, there was one uh, scent that came out one time, it's called Sparkling Pomegranate. I feel like the description kind of sounds like that, but we'll see. Scarlet Sunflower, juicy apple and a hint of red cranberry are brightened by a scarlet sunflower turning to face the sun. I love apple scents, so... I want to try that one too. Spiced Ember Glow. This one sounds good too. Smoked apple, toasted vanilla over cinnamon embers offer a warm and inviting escape. I find their descriptions always sound so good, especially when it's like food. Mm. Tinselberry, strawberry and cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar for a little extra sparkle. Sounds good. I hope the cinnamon is more of like a dessert cinnamon, like a cinnamon sugar as opposed to like a hot, red hot cinnamon. We'll see. Now, um, I ended up getting a third tester because silly me wasn't paying attention and I seen when I was briefly looking through the what made it into the catalog and whatnot I seen one silly me and I was like "Ooh, that's a new one so I ordered it with the testers and it's not a new one salted caramel toffee which was the a brick from the holidays which I just recently finished in my empty so duh but it's still really good. <laughs> Salted caramel toffee. Well, we'll get to that. We get to the bakery section, but I just want to let you know, I did get a tester with that by accident because I thought it was new. Now I kind of wish I would have gotten a different one, maybe the Harvest Blessings one. Anyways, holiday scents going to be Be Merry, which I love. Uh, Christmas Cottage. That one is very strong on the spice, so it's all right for me, but it's not one of my absolute favorites. Uh, Dancing Sugar Plums came out last year. It was really nice. I bought a couple bars and it was something I found different for holiday scent. We usually get a lot of cranberry, a lot of cinnamon, you know, tree scents and all that. So Sugar Plum or Plum in itself was something different and new. So I was really happy about that. Uh, Perfect Peppermint. has been around forever. It's just a pure peppermint scent. Um, we're not big on the peppermint scents. To me, I just keep finding it smells like toothpaste. Uh, Polar Bear Hug. That's not new. It's not listed as new. But listen to the description. Blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla and amber, and a softly romantic scent. Isn't that... Oh my god, I'm blanking now. I just had it. 
It's a scent, a bar that has been with Scentsy forever, years, years. Every winter, uh, a lot of my customers look forward to that one. Please, somebody put it down below. I can't remember. It's escaping me right now. I just had it too. Anyways, why did they change the name? They changed the name. Anybody know why? What happened there? I'm just kind of curious because uh, that's not what it's supposed to be called. It's called, oh, what is it? I can't remember. But it's not supposed to be called Polar Bear Hug. So does anybody know what, what's going on with that? Please let me know down below because I'm just pretty clueless right now about what's going on. They did Redberry and Spruce, which was uh, a bar in that Christmas, well, I don't know if it was Christmas collection or holiday collection. Um, there was like five bars out of that. There was the gingerbread hugs, the, was it something cookie? And then there was that one and a couple others. So that one is now a holiday scent, new to the catalog. Snowberry, which I don't like, <laughs> I've tried it before. It's Loganberry, strawberry, peppermint, and then cinnamon. And I feel like there's something with that cinnamon and the strawberry. It just kind of doesn't work for me. Very Merry Cranberry has been around forever. I love it. Very Snowy Spruce has been around forever. It's a very strong Christmas tree scent. Winterberry Apple Tea. Amazing, 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 amazing. Love it. My favorite out of all this holiday little collection here that we have this year. Winterberry Apple Tea is my absolute favorite. Highly recommend it. We got quite the list for spice, quite the list for bakery, so I'll go through them quickly. Uh, under spice, we've got apple and cinnamon sticks. That's been around forever. Autumn Hearth, same thing. Autumn Sunset. A bestseller's Christmas Cottage, which I've told you before, I find it's quite, um, you smell that orange, like the sweet, like the fruit, but then I find it's too much on the spice for my liking. Cider Mill, amazing. Cinnamon Bear, that's just like, to me, that's just like hot cinnamon hearts. It's a bestseller. I don't know. Um, I, I'm sure it's a bestseller for a reason, but I mean, it's just been around forever. I feel like there's some of these that I wish kind of would maybe even go for a season and then come back the following year, just because maybe I don't like it so much, but you know. Clove and Cinnamon, Dancing Sugar Plubs, we went through. Farm Stand Pumpkin, I love that one. That's Apple, Cinnamon Stick, Pumpkin, and Caramel. Love it. Uh, it's not super, super heavy on the cinnamon. I feel like I can barely notice the cinnamon on that one. First Day of Fall was new last year. Really good. Harvest Blessings, I can't wait to try it. Homestead Holiday, I think I tried that one um, like in a tester form and it was it's uh, orange, cinnamon, and then the fur needle. And it wasn't quite what I like, right? The, the cinnamon and the Christmas tree, it's a little too much. Maple Apple Bourbon, I tried that, that was nice. Pumpkin Chai was part of that um, collection. There was the three. Pumpkin Chai is there and I noticed um, I don't know if all three made it into the catalog. We'll see. But that one was really good. It wasn't my absolute favorite out of the group, the three there, but it was really good. The whole collection was really good anyways. Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl, that's been there forever. Really good. Spice Amber Glow, that's a new one I can't wait to try. And Welcome Home. That's one I feel like I've only tried in a tester. I would like to get a bar and just try it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, in the bakery section, I'm super happy. Almond Croissant, Apple Butter Frosting, Apple Cherry Strudel, yum. Those are all favorites of mine. Baked apple pie. I wish there was just more pie crust scent to it. Blueberry cheesecake I love. Breakfast in bed. Oh my god, that was my favorite from last year out of the new releases. And I'm so happy it made the catalog. We've got butter pecan, cinnamon buttercream, and the new uh, graham cracker crunch. Can't wait. Hug in a mug is one of my... Uh, it just smells like hot chocolate. Uh, pumpkin roll. Salted caramel toffee, sugar cookie, vanilla bean buttercream, and then the vanilla waves made it again, which I'm happy about because I really enjoyed that one. That one that says sea salt and whipped vanilla crash into sticky caramel. Mm. All right, so we got fresh, we got woods, ooh, we got fruity, citrus, and floral, and then we're on to the Disney stuff. All right, so fresh, we got aloe water and cucumber. That's been around forever. Same with Amazon Rain. Arctic Kiss was new last year. It was the December scent of the month. It was super popular. I'm not surprised it's in here. Uh, Best in Snow, I believe, was new last year. By the Sea, it's been around forever. Same with Clean Breeze and Clothesline. Cozy Guardigan is the one that I feel like, um, that was it Cashmere and Corduroy? I feel like it's going to be the same kind of vibe if you like those soft, cozy scents. Eucalyptus Wreath is new. There's Jammy Time, Just Breathe, Newborn Nursery, Perfect Peppermint. Those have been around forever, which is... Mm, Polar Bear Hug, Silver Bells, that wasn't in, that was in the catalog, but that wasn't in the, like, the holiday sense, which is weird, and Vanilla Mint, 
Those are nice. I like those ones. The woods around the campfire. That's the one um, I find if you watch my bring back my var bar video, the Palo Santo. I feel like if you like Palo Santo, you'll like around the campfire and vice versa. Uh, Be Merry is in the woods section. The new blue sage and Tonka cashmere and corduroy. Cedar Ciders, super popular. It's been around forever. Same with Ice Pine. My Hero was a Father's Day scent, so that's nice. Mystery Man, Red Berry and Spruce, Very Snowy Spruce, and Weathered Leather has been around forever. Ah, that other leather one, though, is gone. There was two leather ones. A more softer leather scent. That one's gone. Under Fruity, we got Autumn Road Trip. It was new. That yeah, was new last year. Berry Blessed was part of, like, a three-pack of... Um, I think it came out in November, some kind of holiday bar set. Yeah, to me, it smelled like peach, even though it's vanilla, cranberry, and sparkling sugar. We got black raspberry vanilla. Bright Cider Life was part of that three pack of bars around, um, I was going to say Halloween, but October, December, uh, no, fall. It was that pumpkin chai with the Bright Cider Life, and there was another one. Maybe that one didn't make the catalog. But caramel apple craze is really good. That's like a caramel apple, can't you know, the caramel apples, that's what it smells like. Cloudberry Dreams, I did not like that one. It's fruity, raspberry, vanilla, peach, and then rose. And the rose is just too strong for me. Jewel Pomegranate, that was the scent of the month, I think, of November last year. Johnny Appleseed's one of my all-time favorites. We've got Perfectly Pomegranate, Pomegranate Prosecco, Scarlet Sunflower, Sea Salt and Avocado, Snowberry, Tinselberry, Very Merry Cranberry, and then the Winterberry Apple Tea. Mm. Under Citrus, we've got Blue Grotto, Coconut Lemongrass, Squeeze the Day, and Sunkissed Citrus. And under floral, we've just got Luna. I'm pretty happy with the lineup. I mean, there's some that I wish would have come back, obviously. And there's some that I wish maybe hadn't come back and they'd switched them out with something else. But I'm sure everyone has, you know, the same kind of thoughts. Not as, as me, but, you know, with other bars and stuff. Now we're into the Disney collection. So we've got the same warmers that were available last year. The heads come off. You can see the kind of line. Um, we've got the scent, oh boy, and totally mini, which I absolutely adore. And we got the usual Mickey Mouse and Friends. What's new, well, first I'll show you what's not new on this side, which is the, the Mickey and Minnie dolls. They're the like the vintage looking ones with the scent circles and then the scent pouches. But what's new is these guys. The wall fan diffusers for Minnie and Mickey. And they've got the pods available at $16 per pack uh, Canadian. Normally they're 13 for the regular scents, but this is a Disney scent. And uh, the fan diffusers are 46 each. But they're super, super cute. If you're a huge Mickey Minnie fan, I, I could, you know, if I was, I could totally see myself buying those. They're cute. We've got the Winnie the Pooh collection, the warmer, the bar, and the, the I almost said Bonums, the buddies. Now, um, these came out like a limited edition, and now they're in the catalog. So there's the Princess... Uh, it turns so you can get the picture of all three princesses, but there's, let's see, you can get the one with Belle, Ariel, and Cinderella, or the one with Tiana, Mulan, and Rapunzel. Okay, so this one was a limited release one with the scent, which is uh, uh, Disney Princess True Love of Always. Um, remember it being like a sweet candy scent. And yeah, it says ripe raspberry, sparkling mandarin, and sweet vanilla. But this one is new. It's got three different princesses and it's purple instead of blue. Very cute. And then we've got the Marvel Warmer with the bar and the Spider-Man Diffuser. Super cute. We've got a new uh, Sensi friend named Jaya, Jaya and Jenna the Giraffe. Those are cute. We've got new little buddy clips. We've got a little, is it tr t Tara the Triceratops? Sarah the Stegosaurus, both in Tropic Tango. We got Hamish the Highland Count, Vanilla Buttercream, Vanilla Bean Buttercream, and Allegra the Elephant in Sugar. Very, very cute. I like the little dinosaur ones. It's new. Now, a new product that Sensi's come out with is a Sensi Air Purifier at $330 Canadian. I'm not going to touch on it too much. Um... They're showing a list of Scentsy Pods. I really like that they've increased the number of uh, scents available in Scentsy Pods. Super excited for some of the new ones. We've got um, Arctic Kiss, Very Blessed, Bright Cider Life. 
Dancy Sugar Plums is new. Cloudberry Dreams is new. Um, wow. Jewel Pomegranate's new. Like, they really got a list going, which I'm happy about. The Scentsy Wall Fan Diffusers. They got the same ones. Ones with the light and ones without. The ones without are 33. The ones with the light, I believe, are 40. So you can see the light without the light. We've got the Scentsy Go and then the Scentsy Mini Fan Diffusers. So a lot of people like to plug that into their USB in their vehicles and have the pods going there. And then the Scentsy Go, I just keep it by my bed. Oops. Now, I don't have any diffusers in my home and I have no real interest in getting any just because I have so many warmers and the wax just, I like a strong smell. So we've got that, um, you know, the Deluxe diffuser i think this is uh, a bit newer i think they i don't know it's called jeweled maybe they just changed the name but i think they've changed it a bit um they have i don't know if this is even new because i i don't have diffusers so i'll just show you real quick those are the diffusers uh, um, i guess the the lids that they have available and then they've got several oils again i don't do oil so i feel like i can't comment on them the body care line, they've really upped their, their game with scents. They've got Jewel Pomegranate. They've got Cloudberry Dreams. They've got Pineapple Coconut Vanilla. Did that go away and now it's all sent back or has it always been there? I'm not sure. But Watermelon Tangerine, loved that one. And Candy Creep, again, only available in body wash. I just wish they would make it available in more items. Uh, and they have the Sugar Scrubs available too. Nice. The laundry line. Just trying to see. Cloudberry Dreams is new. And the rest are all the same scents. And but they've changed their packaging. If you look, it's a different kind of like the uh, the look of it's different. That's nice. Uh, the cleaning line. Always love the cleaning line. Highly recommend it. I've got no complaints with it. From the counter clean to the bathroom cleaner, the dish soap. I like to get personally the uh, all-purpose concentrate cleaner. It's $24, but it equals to six bottles of, let's say, the counter clean. And the counter clean is $13 about a bottle. So, you know, I've got to watch my dollars, and that's how I do it. Um, the only scent that's new in the cleaning is Cloudberry Dreams. Again, I don't like that scent just because of the rose. But anybody who does love it are going to be super excited. We've got the pet line. I don't have any pets, so I can't comment. The, um, uh, what's it called again? These are all the, the unplugged stuff. So the fragrance flowers, the car bars, the scent circles, the car bar clips. You know, they have the two different styles for the fragrance flowers. Really nice options. Perfect for like bathroom, small room. Um, there's the, you know, free rewards if you want to host your party. There's the information if you want to sell Scentsy. And then this is where I like because you can go look under the scent and see what exactly is available. So there's columns for every product. And then it shows you which product that scent is available in. Then we've got like the bundles where you can save some money, which is always great. And then this too. This thing here, the last pages, pulls out. And I really like this because it separates you know, by price point for the warmer. So you can see like where your price point is and what your options are, but it gives a nice comprehensive look at all their products, all kind of like in one nice little folded pamphlet. So that's everything for the new fall winter catalog. Do I have my sights set on anything? Well, like I said, out of all the bars, there's these two, the cinnamon buttercream and the, what is it? Graham cracker crunch especially excited for there's some of the other new ones like I mentioned I'm excited to smell there's always you know wax that I'm interested in but as for the warmers like I always say I have so many I have no intentions of buying any right off the bat however I cannot guarantee that from watching other people's videos and doing unboxings and showing them and when you actually see them lit up and you know you get a good better look I can't guarantee that I won't you know have to buy one then but for now, I'm able to hold off. I'm able to comfortably say I'm okay. But again, you know, all bets are off once I start seeing them in person, right? Once the catalog releases. So again, August 1st, the catalog releases. Super excited about it. Let me know, are you super excited about this catalog? What, what scents are you excited about? What products? What warmers? I mean, I get so excited for new, new catalog time, right? Anyways, hope everyone's having a great day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.